one of these things. Good day, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to Larez Expression Studio. I've been absent for a little while because I was moving my shop from one place to another and it takes forever. And I am still not 100% organized. I'm not even 60% organized in the studio, but um, I have to do some artwork. Otherwise, I will go bonkers. So what I have here is the Lucky Green. This is a new... Hang on, let me mix a little bit and show you. This, make sure it's about 10%. I'm just eyeballing it. Don't know if you can see that at the bottom. It's about 10%. If you can get a little pen and mark it and then 10 lines. They should be even. And how the heck did that fly get in here? So that was a lucky green. This is a luscious plum. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous color. About 10% of that as well. In the cup, the famous molten gold. I don't have a lot of it in here. I don't really want a lot of it. And I've got a new shade. This is going to be part of my new line which is going to be a pearlesque line of epoxy pigments and um, it's absolutely gorgeous just check out this color not quite a metallic and not quite a, a pearl it's a uh, pearlesque so absolutely gorgeous color look at that I love it you can now uh, I always struggle with naming naming these pigments and um, I do appreciate when somebody gives me an idea and oftentimes I do use them or it'll give me um, an idea of something that I've you know triggered something within me that I think would be suitable as a name you know but I like quite like exotic names something that um, people relate to and oh my god look at that absolutely gorgeous now the lucky green this is part of the Larez metallic range um, mixed by me so these colors you can't find anywhere else you can find similar colors but the pigments that I use to mix mix these um, uh, they vary and um, they're quite quite unique this is quite a pretty pretty pigment it's a transparent the luscious plum another gorgeous one just um, absolutely amazing also a transparent so and I've got the white on standby Oh, actually, I also have a look at that. Just gorgeous. Um, okay. And, and I've got a little bit of Dory in there. This is a new solid color. It's an epoxy pigment. And I've just got a little bit at the bottom of the jar. So I will just use that to mix my pigment. And then I'll pour it in a little cup. <coughs> just to make sure that you know and you can do this you know if you've got a little bit in the bottom um, this is a good way of scraping everything kind of off the bottom but it's too hard to get it off the sides and everything like that so that's what I do I just get out as as much as I can out of it although I've got pigments everywhere new ones that haven't been you know introduced yet i've got some old ones i've got them coming out of my ears but i still don't like to waste things and you know it's just sometimes you're born like that <laughs> you know <laughs> i just hate wasting things so it's at the bottom of the jar and i will use every single bit of it so now i'm just scraping off the sides here 
tell you what, I had a phone call today uh, from one of uh, my customers, one of many, um, and she asked me, you know, what happened with, with her order because, um, you know, it just hasn't arrived and she's used to me, you know, sending orders real quickly and things like that. And so I chased it up and found it and it was arriving today. But it did take a little bit longer and I did I called her back and explained why. It's because I've been moving the shop and so many things have happened and so I didn't have a chance to even notify anybody because my computer was off. Anywho, long story short, but the what I want to say is this lady, she was just so amazing. She was, you know, she just, um, you know, saying to me how, you know, she follows me on YouTube. That's how she um, got excited about resin and she was thanking me and she's saying how she's selling her art now and she's retired. And I find that amazing. I just love it. Love hearing stories like that. I love hearing that, you know, I can inspire people to to do their own you know spin on on this amazing amazing art using this uh, incredible medium so that was great she made my day that's for sure you know and then she says you know I copy you and this is great I says you know what you can't really copy me because there is no such thing as making the exact same piece of resin art or any kind of pouring art really but I says you are more than welcome to copy my method and just go with it I might just go with the white just to for a bit of fun so you know it's um it's just lovely it's amazing when things like that happen and I get lots of emails and messages on on on, on Facebook and YouTube and things like that so I do appreciate it okay so I'm having trouble here because this this is what I'm talking about it's just a little bit at the bottom of this jar so that's what I'm gonna do just mix it up in here so while I am mixing if some people are annoyed at my talking just don't fast forward and get to to the part where I'm actually doing some art because a lot of people want to hear about what's going on and what's new and all that sort of stuff. So lots is going on, lots of new colors, like I said, a new range coming up. Um, so it's, it's quite exciting and very, very busy. Also would like to take this chance, my friend Laura, who's also a distributor of uh, Lorraine's products in America has reminded me to invite people to mention our group, our Facebook group, um, and invite people because I haven't been doing it recently. And uh, you're all invited. If you're not already in there, you're all invited to the group. It's called Fluid Art Community with Susanna Denks and we'll see you there also there's a web uh sorry not a web well there is a website but there is a, a facebook page larez facebook page so oh see totally planned totally planned you see what happens just when you thought <laughs> i was gonna keep carrying on and talking i go and surprise you huh how good is that? Actually, I quite like that. I think that's really, really super spectacular. The way it happened. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love it when things like that happen. Let's just carry on with that with that motif. I just got to step back because I'm still in my pajamas. Okay, let's just pretend that we just did that. Okay. You can't say that that's planned. I'm going to leave a little bit in these cups right there. Um, let's go with this lucky green. Hopefully it will bring me luck today and just go 
Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, let's leave a couple of drops in there because that will definitely help. And let's just accidentally just do this. Look at that color. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely stunning. Stunning. Leave a little bit because I'm going to need to patch things up. Now, white. I don't want to do like a splat with the white. What I want to do is heat this up a little bit now. Making sure you're on. Absolutely wonderful. Now, got a little bit more of this green left, so I'm just going to... Now I'm going to control it a little bit because I want to be able to cover this whole board and not have things kind of one on top of the other and pop that there. This is an MDF board. It's been primed just with paint. Oops, that one keeps wanting to fall. Okay. And I have not taped the bottom. I know. Just in a hurry, as I usually am. People who know me know how busy I am. I have no time for socializing or anything really. I'm just so busy. And I'm busy because I like being busy and also because I need to get on with, with what I'm doing. And then once it's all done, then I'm hoping to have a holiday somewhere that would be nice be nice to just get away and uh, go somewhere and do some art wouldn't that be lovely go on a holiday somewhere and do do this with people let me know if you would like that let me know if you would like me to come visit and I will plan for it for sure okay now I've got all that happening. You know, when you do that and you have some pigment mixed with resin left in your cup, you can add some more of your clear. Can you see that? Oh, sorry, I'm just moving the cup so I can see. Move it with, uh, move it. Um, mix it with a little bit of resin and then give it a mix. And then you get a super gorgeous transparent color how awesome is that which you can pop anywhere really anywhere you want it's still going to look as dark as that one but it you'll see it when it's mixing and merging with the other colors and mingling and doing all that gorgeous stuff that it's quite a transparent and now i can drop it there and let it do its thing and i'm going to do the same with all of them bit of that green, bit of that gorgeous, gorgeous pink. It's like a magenta. Really super cool. And then give them a bit of a mix. Sorry, it should be showing you what I'm doing. And look at that. You're just getting extra. It's only more transparent. If you could only see this, what it's doing, just all by itself there, you'd be amazed. Now I'm sort of controlling it a little bit more. Wow. Because the, the blue, the dory blue, is quite an opaque, and this pink is slightly um, transparent, it's moving over the blue, and you can see all these cells just by themselves. Just going to carry on with some more of this gorgeous green lucky green bring me luck and then mix up some of this really really gorgeous pearlesque epoxy pigment and because I love that so much I might just go over actually I won't oh yeah I will 
I will. I'm just going to go over it this way now and just fill in that bit there. Like that. And a little bit more. Just a bit more. And then flip it over there. Now that I've done that, I'm going to sit down for a bit because my back is getting sore. Okay, get rid of that now. I still have a little bit of clear left. I'm going to get rid of you. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat it up a little bit, pop the bubbles. And I still have the white and I also have a, let me just give me a second, I've got to pluck something out. see a little furry thing in there now I lost it here it is oh it's not coming out maybe it's just maybe it's just bubbles okay but there's definitely one there okay great if you could just see that it's just amazing you don't even have to do anything just leave it as is but this needs some help over here so I'm gonna go with the gold, oh my god, that's just spectacular. Okay, I have to bring you down just to show you that real quick. Just real quickly, this this is where I was talking about with the cells, and you've seen I haven't done anything. That's that luscious plum. Oops, zoom. And then that's that extra that I've added. Look at that luscious plum. And the gold. Let's go up here so you can see that all merging in there doing gorgeous stuff look at that looks like a bit of a, a love heart kind of all right back to it now okay okay so we're back now right out uh, still got the white and I've got the okay what I'm gonna do is you know just use my stick or my hand just to bring this up to the edge a little bit I could use my clear but I'm just not prepared to use the clear I just want to use these as they are you see that I wipe my hand each time on that alcohol wipe just to get them nice and clean Just bringing it up to that and it's starting to move all by itself gorgeous these pigments are just amazing I know they're mine and I am being biased <laughs> but I think I'm allowed to because I'm not the only one saying how amazing they are there's uh, lots of people who will agree with me and order from you know all over the world which is quite humbling really okay a little bit I've got lots of that green there so I might bring this pink up to it just like that it will still move and merge and all that bring it all the way up to that green and that luscious plum right there Some of them are mixing, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Right, let's go with a white. Gonna, I've got lots of room here where I need pigments, so I'm just gonna put the white there. Some of it will move. Bring 
it up to the edge. I can hear thunder. Everybody was complaining about the the drought and everything and I have a feeling that we're going to have a very wet summer and I couldn't wait for summer to come. Yeah. All right. So now might just go with the white here as well. And it looks um probably quite unusual right now. Just bringing it up to the pigment there. The white is an opaque, so it'll react with the transparent. leave a little bit of that white you never know when you're going to need it and now I've got the gold so something happened there and you can always scrape up a little bit even one drop will help see something happened there that I need to fix and it does help Right, I'm gonna. F wow, my god, that is so cool! Just a little bit of flipping or tilting, rather, not flipping anything, I'm tilting, but I do need to heat it up a little bit. Okay, and now the gold. I always do gold last. You don't have to, you can do your own thing. So here we go. I want to go through that blue because I think that blue definitely needs a little bit of a zhuzhing up because it is quite an opaque, opaque color. And that blue and the gold are together makes, making a, a really nice green. Bit of gold here. Some of that will be moved. I just wish it wouldn't drip like that. But sometimes it looks great when it drips. One drop there, one drop there, and a drop there. See what that does. Sometimes you can just pull it, and then that is that. I would like more gold over this blue. So I'm just going to tip the whole thing there, like that. And now here we go. Oh, yep, a little bit of clear. Over the gold just creates really lovely depth. And also, I don't really want to waste it, so I'm just going with whatever I've got left. And now, let's get some heat happening.
Oh, wow. Check it out. Check it out. I'm going to flip it around so you can see better. Because I want to move some of this transparent over, over the blue. Try not to mess it up. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> the clear that I've put over, it just creates some amazing depth there. And, and you can just, oh, you're going to see it in a second. Just crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Don't really want to touch that because I absolutely love it. But I do think I want to add a little bit more of something in that blue. Maybe some more of that green, if I can scrape up a bit more of the resin. A couple of drops, it's always handy to have. Not a lot, but it needs something. Because it's quite an opaque. Just needs a little of something, and the the green kind of disappears in there. Don't know if I put a little bit of white in there, maybe bring it back out. Where's that gold? Tiny wee bit of gold. Oh, yeah, look at that. Saved by the gold again. Just need a little bit. And some over here just for the balance that I need. It's all mixed with the blue now and everything, but it doesn't matter. And a little bit more heat. Gorgeous. Wow, that is quite interesting. Quite interesting. Just want to see if I can tilt a little bit over this way. Just a wee bit. helping it okay and now back this way again stretching those cells
bit more this way. More that way. And I think I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. There's a lot going on there now. Right now I'm happy. Just need a little bit more of the bottom. Wow, that's crazy down there. Really cool. See if I can grab some, put it in here. And that is it my friends I'm going to bring you down and show you all the crazy stuff that's going on in there and that's going to keep moving and changing and improving but I'll just show you um, what it looks like now so you can compare with the photos a little bit later thanks for watching <laughs>